Hello everyone, my name is Cinnamon with Tantalizing Sampler. And every month we are back, our boxes are packed with tarts or melts, which are just wickless candles that melt instead of burning. Every month someone asks us a question, what do you do with them? So I decided to make this little video to kind of explain what you do with a tart melt, tart lit, tart cubes, um, drops, different names for them. We're just going to do the video to show you what do you do with them. This month's box we had 13 candle shops and 11 melts. Um, they can come in squares. The fluted melt. The melts with the paper um, wrappers. Now with these particular melts, please remove the paper before melting. You have the ones with the candle makers. They get creative. And this one has a little teddy bear on it. Um, the little wax brittle that comes in the little pieces. Um, you have the little cubes, which are the little individual ones. Then you have the little cute little pumpkin shapes and the little bats. And then you have the, the cups. All these things serve as the same purpose, and that's to melt. They all are filled with... Um, then there's the tar bar, which is the six pack of cubes. You just break it off and you put it in the warmer. Now, before I show you these different types of warmers, please don't judge me. All candor, candle addicts have a variety of warmers, and I just might have more than the average person. That's all. Don't let it bother you. Let's go zoom in right quick so I can show you the different ones. This one right here is a two in one candle warmer. The dish comes off, and this is actually where you will put a candle on. Let me see if I got a candle around. You just put a candle on here, and it actually melts the wax on the bottom to the top to release the aroma. I don't really use that part, I just use the dish. You put your wax on the top. Now, this particular candle warmer is great if you ever uh, run across a candle maker and they have jumbo tarts, like these cute little giant pumpkins. They're about 2.7 ounces. They're perfect for an air because all you need is one of these, you know, cute little novelty dishes you just put it inside the dish like this. You set it on top and within minutes you have delightful aroma. Then there's the ones like this. This one is very pretty. This is actually a tea light. More modernized tea light burner. You simply pull this part out. Let me get my little tea light. Take a little tea light. You put it in the bottom. You light it. You put the inside. Take your little glass dish. You put it on top. Put your few tarts on top. Voila! Tantalizing aroma. Another type of tea light warmers that you might be more familiar with. It's the ones like this, where you just take the tea light, put it in the dish at the bottom, you put the top on, put your wax. The wax comes in different styles, shapes, designs. They all have the same purpose, to melt and to fill your home with aroma. Okay, so we just have different ones in the box, all same technique. Um, Shop owners typically use different names, tartlets or whatever. Same thing. Wax that melts. This is another type of tea light warmer. The ceramic. And you can tell you, I know that in here before. If you turn around, see the little hole in the back? That's actually where you would put the tea light. And you light it. It actually heats this up and it melts and has a little hole so it shows a little light through there. Another kind. As far as modern women, electric. I'm going to actually plug this one in. This one is actually a touch lamp style. It has three levels when you touch the base, low, medium, and high. This runs off a 35 watt halogen light bulb. Just so you can see the inside. It has a little glass dish. Now these dishes like this, that's wavy like this. In my opinion, they hold like 0.5 ounces with no problem. Personal opinion, 
tartlets like this needs to be cut in half to sit on there. Little pumpkins like this or the little bats and things and this little square. It's actually the perfect size to sit in these right here. Um, you put it, turn it all the way up, put the wax on top. It takes about 10 minutes to melt and before you know it, tantalizes and aroma all the way through your house. Another type of electric lamp is the dimmer kind. And remember, don't judge me on all my, on all my lamps. Same concept, 35 watt halogen light bulb. Just gonna plug it in, whoa, she bright. We go turn it down. This has a dimmer switch, so you can actually turn it down and up. Same concept, glass dish on top. Put your desired melt on top, within minutes you have aroma. Now the higher you have this up, the quicker the wax will melt. If the scent is too strong, you just simply dim it. They also make great night lights. My daughter has one in her room. It's pink. Speaking of night lights, there's different types of aroma night lights. Like this is the one piece um, ceramic. It actually has a swivel base, so if you have a sideways socket, you can just turn it. So we just gonna turn the camera up a little bit. I'm gonna put this in. If I okay, maybe I should turn it first. I'll put it in. Not much light coming from this one. Same concept though. Take the tart, you put it on top, it melts, it releases the aroma. Perfect for kitchens and baths, this type of lamp. Now, if you're more fancier and modern, you might go for the glass kind. Like this one. And she party. She doesn't swivel though, but she plugs directly into the socket. Has a glass dish that you would just kindly put on top. It has a dimmer switch on the side. Turn it up, you turn it on, turn it all the way up. Pretty, huh? Let me turn the light outside and see what this looks like. No, oh, I guess I got to turn out all the lights. Oh, that ain't it. Pretty, huh? Yeah. I say so myself. Now, with these, notice that this dish is way smaller than the others. Let me show you side by side. Because it's a plug-in, the dishes aren't very big. From experience, this holds maybe 0 0.3 ounces of wax, which is perfect for like the little novelty candles. Just one. That's all you need. If you're going to use the cubes, I suggest maybe three or four. That's it. And this, believe it or not, the candle maker made the tart correctly that's all you need to fill up your bathroom or your kitchen with, with beautiful aroma now this is just my example of collections of the different types of um, aroma lamps these lamps can also be used for um, oils you can burn oils on these same concept and for all of you for all of you that wanted to know what do you do with the milks now you know they're just wickless candles that you put on either a, the electric kind or the kind with the tea light. It melts and releases the aroma. I hope you enjoyed my little video. Have a tantalizing evening.